Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing part two of my kitting up of this image here. This is a cross stitch pattern I got from Heaven and Earth Designs um, for $5.50 when it was like half off. It's called Dragonflies by Ching Chow Quick. And I'm doing this cross stitch pattern as a diamond painting using my round drills. So part one, I had kitted up the first half of the drills because this thing has 90 colors. So here's the first half. Aren't they pretty? Aren't the colors pretty? And then I'm going to be working on the second half today. And then plus circling back to the ones where I didn't have the color. And I'm going to find a substitute color for it because I just didn't have, I, I either I didn't have enough or or something like that, or I don't know, I don't even remember. I highlighted it. <laughs> it was like not that long ago where I kitted up the first part. But yeah, I'll go back to the ones I skipped for whatever reason, probably because I didn't have the drills, and then we'll look for a substitute. Okay, so... So I'm gonna be using my spare drills, so if you've seen any of my kitting downs, you might notice I have a lot of spare drills because apparently I just diamond paint too much. <laughs> so, and a good way to use up your diamond painting drills, your leftover diamond painting drills if you keep them, is to do cross stitch conversions. Or you know you could do freestyle, but I'm not talented enough to diamond paint on a blank canvas and just like freestyle it. I don't have that talent. That's why I diamond paint um, with the pattern because, you know, you don't need any talent. So when I buy the cross stitch pattern, it does have like a DMC and then a number of stitches and which is, at least in Heaven and Earth Designs, the number of stitch stitches equals the number of drills. And then I used this conversion chart here. Um, so 100 drills is 0.5 grams for round drills. So so for like the quantity, I got this quantity, I divided by 100 and then I multiplied it by 0.5 and I got this number here. So the uh the drills here should be about how much I should weigh it. And then I got this um jewelry scale to do the weighing and I, I think this jewelry scale when I bought it was it was cheap it was not that expensive and I've kitted up enough of these um, cross stitch conversions that it, it's really fast to do it this way originally I was using a half teaspoon um, and someone told me the half teaspoon is about 200 drills and someone else told me the half teaspoon is about 300 drills and I'm like, yeah. So if you want, you could just use a half teaspoon and figure out how many drills from that. All right, so 791. So we're at 791. So I have plenty of 791. I need 2.83 grams. I've been adding a little bit of extra. So if you didn't see part one, I'm using um, two of these um, 56 container um, boxes. So normally you see these boxes and they have like the four stuck together. Once upon a time I had seen a listing for it was like these smaller ones where they had the individual boxes 
and I ended, and I think they were selling them as like six packs and then they were only like when I first saw it, it was only like ten ninety nine so I bought two so I had like twelve six packs of those or maybe it was five packs either way once upon a time on Amazon it existed and I have not seen it since after that listing sold out I haven't seen it since on Amazon I've seen them on AliExpress but not as cheap as when I bought them so I guess it was a good thing I bought that many. Seven ninety two. So I did seven ninety one. Seven ninety two. Okay, I only have a little bit of this one, so we'll do this sh shade here. Two point eight. Two point zero eight grams. Oops, I went way too far. So yeah, I don't I don't know where to get these anymore. So this this um cross stitch pattern is going to be actually a relatively small one. That's why I went this route because I most of my colors I only need less than a thousand, and I know these can hold about eight hundred, maybe nine hundred, maybe a thousand. I don't know. Depends on how how well you pack it. Um, so I knew I was going to have plenty of space for most of my colors, so like 794, I only need 51 pieces, so. So I noticed there was some static, so I, I'm, I breathed some hot air in there so that it can hopefully Oh, I put in like double the amount, but there's so little in there that I'm just like, okay, we're just going to keep it. see I don't have that many in the bag but I see I have more in my overflow so on my containers here I have this sticker here that tells me that I have enough of this that it filled up more than this bag and um, to go check out my overflow which here I did check out my overflow so I need 1.39 Probably had enough in the bag over there. Eight oh nine. Which shade do I want to use? I don't know. This one has more, so I'm going to use this one. So I don't know if you can see, I don't know how well the, there is an actual number there. It's just, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Eight, oh nine, I need point six seven. Eight nineteen. I put. I used the AB version, which if you watched the first part of this, you would have seen me doing that using the AB version. Oh my gosh, why do I have so many of this? Eight twenty. So if you've seen my kidding downs, I do shade match. So if I have more than one shade of something, I will. Separate them out. You think this is? Well, wait, this is the one I have. I'm just gonna use this one. 2.25. Oh, 
I don't really have any real reason I chose this one. <laughs> Eight twenty three is actually a very common color. You need three point five two. Okay. Eight ninety, I feel like I get a lot also. Two point nine two grams. Okay. So eight ninety nine ten. more of this one. 0.89. I've way too much, but 0.89 is such a small amount. Nine one two. That's 181. Then I could use this up. 181 pieces. Well, according to the scale, it should be enough. Oh wait, I need 1.39. 278 is the quantity of drills. Okay. Keep looking at the quantity instead of the grams. Okay, so 913, 921. You know, I think I'm doing really well with... <laughs> I'm going to start jinxing myself. I'm doing really well with, with this um, kidding up. I'm not getting anything that's too... Um, I'm not getting anything that is... I'm not getting too many things that I don't have. Why is this not tearing to zero there? I only need like 25 pieces for this. Nine thirty one. One point oh four. Nine. But yeah, no, I'm doing. I'm doing really well in kidding this up. This, I think I just have to alternate my um, color schemes when I do these um, cross stitch patterns so that, you know, I don't pick something that has the same color scheme as the previous one you did because, oh my gosh, these are like about equal. So which one wins? I don't know. This one, I just decided 0.9. But 
what was I saying? Yeah, as long as I think if I just do um, not the same color scheme each time, because the last round I did uh, cross stitch conversion, it was more in the browns because it was a it was two cats, so there was a lot of like browns, and and this one has like a completely different color scheme from that other picture, so. I'm finding most of the colors. Okay, nine, three, six. So this one I have a happy face sticker on it, so I know I have more. And I don't know if that's that what was in there was enough. Okay. Nine three six. I need two point five one grams. Okay, I went over by a gram. Ah, that's too much effort sometimes to go exact. Okay, nine three six. Okay, nine three nine. I know I have it in my overflow, so so it's gonna go straight into there. I need. Oh, I need 1238. So I'm going to need. So this is 6.19 grams. Okay, that's like 7.2 grams. That's okay. I have so much 939. side of the label that I had used to when I printed these labels. shades of this one. Do you think this one's 342? I need 1.71. Okay, according to weight, I have enough. Forty-nine pieces. Who wants to be the shade? Well, it looks more like this one. At least the color swatch that got printed out. Well, I only need forty-nine paid forty-nine pieces, so this is not going to make much of a difference. In the overall picture, because it's only in forty-nine. I only need forty-nine pieces. Okay. Okay, 
987. I'm finally on the last box. Okay, let's see if this is enough. I need 202 pieces. Okay, it does seem like it would be enough. to it. It's not going to be enough. We'll go back to it at the end and when I'm trying to look up everything that everything else. 3042. I need 0.88 grams. Okay, I don't have enough of this one either, so we'll go see if there's an appropriate substitute. Okay, later. 3072. I need 1.2 Okay, I went over but that's okay So 3072 3078 I did the AB version so now 3 I only need 16 pieces of this one I think I'll be able to do that That's way more than 16 pieces. Three, three, two, eight. Three, three, four, six. Plenty of this one. Need 1.32 grams. Nope, went over. Three, three, four, eight. Okay, I need four hundred eighteen pieces. That shade is not enough. This one, 2.09 grams. So three, three, four, eight. Next up, three, three, six, three. Okay, I have two shades. I don't know, they're both. Do I want to go darker or lighter? I don't know. I feel like the swatch looks more like this one. One point seven nine. Okay. 
3608. Do you see how different these are? Like, I hope it shows. Like, one's more purple, one's more pink. <laughs> 3608, which one does this look more like? It looks more like the pink. So we'll go with the pink. So we're doing 2.09. Six oh nine. I need two point three five. Three seven two seven. I only need seventy five pieces of this one. Ooh, do you think I'm just gonna use this smaller amount? Should be plenty. Sometimes I'm just like, ah, oh, let's just get off the whole thing. Three seven four three. We need two point five five. Three seven four seven. I'm gonna need two containers. Okay. One good thing. This is one of those ones that I have a lot of. That I have more in my overflow. So how much do I need? Five point eight three. Seven four seven. Okay. Three seven five zero. One point two six. Okay, three seven six six. I already did as an AB three seven eight seven. much of it. Do I think that's 257? Uh, 
Yeah, that doesn't look enough. Seven nine nine. I need one point five one. One five. Well, I don't have any of this. So we'll go back to it at the end. Three, eight, two, nine. much. It'll take too much time to try to get the exact number. 3836. in that bag so but I do see it has a happy face sticker so I have more so 2.33 Six grams. Three eight six one. Point seven six. Okay, it went a little too much, but there's not even that much in there. All right, so you know, for 90 colors, the fact that I have one, two, three, four, five that I have to find alternatives for, and then one, two, three that I didn't put that much, but then now I'm thinking I'll just find, I didn't have enough for 
what it said there, but what I'm going to just do is, since I'm going to just find alternative for the other ones, I'll find alternatives for those ones too. So I think that will work out. Okay. So let me pause for a little bit. So I went and got my computer so I could get this like closest DMC chart um, here. So what I'm planning to do is type in the number. So let's try 156 and then it will give me alternatives to 156 and I'll see if I have enough of those colors. So I'm just going to put the computer off to my side, to the side here. So, so first off, 156. Let me see. Do I really not have any of it? Yep, it's empty. <laughs> and I also have this chart here. So I was going to um, compare it to the actual color so that um, 156 is 514. So it's right there. So first alternative says 794. So do I actually have 794 in this kit already? I do, but only 51 pieces, so I feel like it won't make that much of a difference. So 794 versus what this what, what number am I on? 156. Uh, I don't know if I like it. Let's try the next color, 813. Now I like this one less, so we're not doing 813. Next color, 809. So these are just supposedly close enough colors to 156. You know what? I kind of like this 809, this version of 809 more than, so I think I'm gonna go with 809. Do I even have 809 in this? I do. Which version of 809 did I use? I had two shades of 809. I'm using the same shades. I don't have that many of this one. Alright, so 156. Maybe I should use the other version and then use this use the other version for 809 for 809 and then use this for 156 because I don't know if you can tell these are slightly different uh, yeah, one's a little darker wait let's see is 809 supposed to be darker than 156 let's see 156 is there 809 is there well, according to this, my other the other shade of 809 matches more. Yeah, so let's see. So, I'm going to use 156. I need going to put a label over it and be like this is actually 809 instead. So instead of 156 this is 809 so that I know that I replaced it. And 809 I was gonna use so I got my 156 which I actually use 809 809 I'm gonna go re re-weigh but I'm gonna use the other shade of 809 point 67 
So at least now I have two different shades. <laughs> Okay, 160. I actually have a little bit, but this is not going to be enough. Does this actually look like 160? 160 should be in 7.2. That does look like 160. So if I go and type in 160, then I see 7.99 as an alternative. Let's see. I don't know. I see 793 as an alternative. Okay, I like 793 as an alternative. So. I'm not going to use this because there's not that much, but we'll use the 793 for 160. It looks okay. So 160. I need 1.22 grams. using 793 instead three forty one well, let's do 316. It's one of those ones where I didn't put everything apparently. So I used up 316. Let's see, 316. So. Three one six. Apparently, I have enough. So I'm gonna go for I don't know why. Just it's it's actually it's probably barely there. So I'm gonna go for there's gonna be enough three one six. Uh, I don't know. It must have just been like a point oh two off. Three twenty seven. Okay, I still need. Point, point six. I still need point six grams. Okay. So three twenty seven. I still need point six. Wait, why didn't I fill this up? Okay. I think it's because they were a different shade. If this is point six, I'll just do the other shade. Finish up that first shade and then we'll add more. Okay. So 
327 is done. 341. got nothing okay so type 341 Let's see 341 according to this should be in 513 so that's 341 so an alternative is first alternative is 159 little lighter let's see the next alternative is 3325 what number am I on 341. I'm not a big fan of the 3325 as an alternative. And then there's also the alternative of 157. What am I on? 341. I still like 159. Okay, so we're gonna go for 159. Even though I already have 159 in this. There's just gonna be more. So 341. I need 1.53. 1 1.53. 1 okay, so we use. 159 for this one. Twenty for whatever reason. I said I didn't put enough. Okay, here's five twenty. So I used up all of five twenty. So I need 2.05 grams. Okay, so I need uh, 0.65 or 0.6. So we'll do 0.7 of an alternative. Okay, 520. Three, three, six, two. I don't have any 3362. That's my 3051. 30, Let's try 3051. Okay, I have a little bit of 3051, but that doesn't. Oh, oh, oh. That looks nothing like this. Did I say needed? I need point. I'm gonna do point seven. I still need point seven. All right. So thirty fifty one is not a match for me. Thirty fifty one. 
501. That doesn't look like a match for me either. Am I like three seven? Is the one in here not the right color? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, diamond paintings, when I don't have that many, is it the right color? 3787. Yeah, that doesn't look like anything like that. Okay, so now I feel like I have to go look up 520 and see if 520 looks like what's in here. Because my my um, suggestions don't look good. Alright, so 520. It's an 11. 25. Okay, it does seem to match. Okay, I'm gonna just have to do visual looking. Man, when they start looking the same. I like 3362. That's okay. 3362 is the one, the second one that I looked up and it I didn't have it. I didn't have it either. Okay. Gonna go for eight ninety five. Okay, of all the colors I've looked at, this is the closest. So, how much more did I need? I needed point six. Oh, point seven. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do is just go put this back in five twenty, and I'm just gonna use all eight ninety five because I have enough, and I actually don't have eight ninety five in this. So let's go put back this five twenty. do 2.05 okay, but instead of 520 this is going to be 895 Next up is 988. Where's, where's my, my 988? Oh, I actually found it right away. Eight, eight alternatives. First up, three, seven, four, seven. Oh no, three, three, four, seven. I was like, why is the color wrong? Okay, three, three, four, seven. Okay. What number am I on? Nine eight eight. It's not a bad one. 
Do I think this is enough? Do I think there's 223 in here? Well, let's just weigh it. I need 1.12. No, there's not enough. Okay. So, not enough. What's my next one? 470. Okay. What am I on? Nine. Nine eight eight. It's not bad. Uh, if I were to visually choose one, let's just look at the, the third choice and see if that looks okay. I don't even have much of 320. Okay, I think we're gonna go for 470 since it's not too bad of a, and I will have enough of this one. So 988, I need 1.12. Okay, so we got that. Next up, 3052. 3052 is an 1121. So it looks like that. That's like a weird color. Okay. 3052. First choice is 3364. lesser amount looks more like it. Let's find out what second choice is. 3022. I feel like... Did I already check that out? I don't have any of 3022. And fourth, cho third choice is 3012. Which I have a little bit of. What am I on? What number am I on? 3052. Uh, okay, 371 is the next choice, which I actually have a lot of. Okay, no, I'm not, not a big fan of 37, 371 as a replacement. Next replacement is 320, which I don't have that much of, so, and it's way too off. Okay, I have one more alternative 646, which I don't have much of, and I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, so how much do I need of this one? 3052, I need 646. So probably the only one that I'm getting close to the quantity is this one. Mm, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll see. 3052. Where am I? Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna need 646, which I'm not even sure this is enough. Not enough. I still need one gram. One gram of something. Okay. So first off, this is three three six four. Okay, so first I changed it to three, three, six, four, and then still need one gram, but none of these look right. And this three, three, six, four looks much different. Okay, so 3052. Okay, so now I'm gonna go look for 3364 alternatives. Maybe I'll find something better. <laughs> Alternative 3364, 3052. Did I already check out 371? Because I still need one gram. Yeah, no. I feel like I've already checked these numbers 3022. Because if they're the equivalent for something else, I don't have any 3022. Well, I feel like I have already looked these up. <laughs> 471. What am I on? 3052. Four seventy one is not a good one either. Thirty twelve, which I feel like I've already checked. <laughs> not a good one. And nine eighty nine. I think that's a new one. So maybe nine eighty nine is my answer. Nope. Thirty fifty two. What looks like thirty fifty two? Well, now I'm using three three six four. I just need one more gram. Just one more gram. three three four seven even though it doesn't match I think it won't be that off okay is this one more gram I should need one more gram Not enough. Maybe it'll be enough because you know sometimes these are more than enough, right? So three, three, four, seven. Make a bigger label.
So I'm gonna call this three, three, four, seven, four, Um, 3052 or the th what I have is 3364 so just so that when I'm getting that down and then we'll cross the bridge of what to replace this for the future <laughs> after in the future because I think that's the only one oh no, wait I still have 3815 okay <laughs> I still need like 0.3 grams. I still need 0.3 grams, but I don't. I'm I've run out of alternatives, so I think it'll just be one of those ones where we'll just at the end, because that's what I did last time. I was like, I'm just gonna choose, because I'll see where it is on the diamond painting, and then we'll see. Um, and then I just started choosing really really it like it didn't match whatsoever but it was as close as it could get okay three eight one five so i don't i don't really have any of this none okay so first off three eight one five alternative first alternative is actually three eight one four which I have a lot of, so if 3814 is a good alternative for 3815. So 3815 is supposed to be on 920. So is 3814 a really good alternative to 30? Oh, that looks really different. Actually, the one right next to it, I think, is a good um, substitute 163, which is actually the next substitute. Of course, I don't have much. Why? What number am I on? 3815. I was on 20, or 920, right? This 163 looks really different than what's on here. Okay. 505 looks really good too. Okay, this actually looks really good, that one. Okay, so we're going to use 505. Do I have enough? It should. This is not. I don't need too much. I need one point two one. Okay. So I use five oh five for that one. Okay, so some some creative substitutes there. So the only one that I was kind I'm on like I just didn't really finish is 3052, but I only need like 0.3 grams left. So that I don't need that much left. I only need like a like 70 pieces. And for all I know, um the grab the 0.5 is 
has enough extra buffer that I might just be fine with the what I currently have. But it'll be one of those ones where at the very end we'll just I'll just have to find whatever I have to finish up the diamond painting. So here's everything. I was going to put the things in symbol order um, because it makes it actually easier to diamond paint. Let's I'm gonna move the Extras. Okay, so anything with letters first and numbers. ones that are pluses next to T. usually the the dollar signs to be next to an S. Here's an I. S O number. Here's a lowercase N. containers. So let's just do the numbers there. Do I see any more letters? I hate this kind of matches the X's. Here's a T. Here's an M. Here's more pluses. Oh my gosh, why is there so many pluses? Look at this. At least there will be different colors, right? If it'll focus. But trust me, they're all pluses. <laughs> I think I got all the, maybe I should just add this to the pluses since it kind of looks like it. Oh, here's an E. I think I got everything. together and then oh, this is a sideways H I like to put that in with the H or it could be an I I see it the first thing I see is sideways H so the math symbols or symbols that I recognize parentheses here's some triangles
too many things on my table trying to give myself space. Triangles, okay. Those things look the same. Things with lines. The triangles I'd like to put with the arrows. Okay. Those things are similar. Tri things with triangles. Arrows. More arrows. Arrows. Those are the dark arrows. Those are similar. Heart. I think I saw another heart. Here's the other heart. Diamond. The other diamond. Here's the other arrow. The last of the arrows. Okay, more triangles. Okay, the things with the lines. Those things. Lines. More things with lines. Oh, here's a two. I missed the two. Things with squares, things with lines, diamonds, things with squares, so square stuff, things with lines, here's another carrot to go with those. Here's some triangles. Things with these dots. So dot and then, and then I guess circles are dots. Things with circles. And then here's like another dot. I guess this is an arrow. Where's my arrow stuff? Okay, this is a partial circle. And then I guess that's a diamond. And then the weird stuff. <laughs> that doesn't seem to match anything. I guess I could put the check mark with the carrots. Okay, the weird stuff doesn't match anything. What is this? A circle or a square? And then a star. There's no stars. I feel like I had stars in my other one. My because I'm I was doing a heaven earth design one. So the star. Okay. Kind of have a rhyme to reason. All right, so after the numbers, we have letters. A, C. H, I, J, K, L. I remember there's an M. N O P Q R S S will be my S and the dollar sign and then the T will be all of my plus signs too and then U V there's no W and then my X looking things too and then YZ. 
Okay. Now my arrows. More arrows. And then I'm going to put my check marks next to each other and then my triangles next to each other and we'll just so that they're next to each other and then we're just going to put in the back some empties pins So next up, so we did the triangles, I don't know what should we do next. Um, the things that are squares, well, let's just do the things with lines, the things with multiple lines, the two lines, and then the single lines, these go, those get together. And then parentheses, and then the, well, this could go next to the stuff with lines, and then percent, and then things with the two dots, well, the things with the two dots can go together since there's four. And the things with circles. Weird circle stuff. Okay. Oh wait, these I normally put next to the things with triangles. So we'll put that next to the things with triangles. Put it next to the triangles. There. Things with squares. Put those next to each other. So you know what I think I'm going to do is move the things with the dots all on one side. Put all the stuff with squares. Here's the ones with the diamonds. And here's the weird stuff. We'll just call it the weird stuff. Okay, I think we have that. And then here's the extras. So when I need it, I'll go get them. So I kind of have them where hopefully I'll be able to find what I want. Sometimes, sometimes you think you're gonna, you have everything like all kind of set up and then, and then you're like, oh no, I can't find anything. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna label these. And I have like a small label left of the other label somewhere and probably fell down. I can see it. Okay. So this is the dragonfly. Okay. 
heaven and earth design round one of two and then two of two. And then I think I'll just, and that fit after I just did it in half. Nope. So I'm just going to put this into the second sheet just in case I want to look at that. All right, but there, I have finished kidding that up. And I put them in semi-symbol order. I'm not even sure if you can tell. See, like, there's in numbers and then the letters. And yes, I put together the pluses next to the T's because it makes sense to me. And then the X looking things next to the X. Um, but, you know, whichever way helps you find what you need to find, um, to do, especially with something that has a lot of symbols, that's what I, this is what I do. And since I'm going to not be using Pattern Keeper for when doing this, I'm just going to print out the legend at the right size for a round drill, which I have shown how I've done it multiple videos so far. Um, but I probably won't put together the canvas for this until right before I'm doing diamond painting this. Or if I'm bored, I'm like, I want to put it together. That might just happen too. Alright, so that's all I have for today. So that was part two. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!